Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. So all you have to do is just click on that link um, and that will take you right to my booking site. You can get a text reading um, or you can do a phone call. Um, also, if you have a moment, feel free to become a member of my channel. It's $2.99 a month. You get an awesome badge. Um, those of you that were members of my channel before, I have refunded you all your money. But if you go and sign back up again for the $2.99, I think your badge will replace to however long you've been a member. And you also get some cool, cool emojis. Um, so I just want to say thank you to Vessi New. I'll also give you shout outs. Bianca Granados, L33 Sage, Suzanne Rooney, Jules Ryland, Nature's Friend, and Will Fuller. And I think, is there any more of you? Or I think that might be it so far for the new members. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into this reading to see what messages you have um, going forward um, from now in through February. So you're starting with cassette. You have love. <clears throat> and, oh, you have axe again. <laughs> Same as yesterday. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right, cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay, what's going on here? All right, you're starting with the three of wands. I'm sorry, why did I say that? That's obviously the ten of wands. Um, three of wands, you could be um, overthinking previous plans you had with someone. Okay, that have become, oh look. This looks like a stress, like you're stressing, Virgo. Um, whatever you're overthinking um, or replaying conversation or things people, uh, conversations that you've had with others or another person, it's weighing you down. I feel like you need to <laughs> shut the tape off, Virgo. Shut the tape off. Because you might be overanalyzing or thinking or it's just like a burden. Like you're carrying around too many thoughts. Maybe even affecting your sleep. You might even, it's like might even be infecting your dreams. Some type of struggle. Um, let's see. You might be trying to figure something out. You need peace. And you need patience. And moderation. So I kind of feel like whatever you have in your head that you're thinking of like all these thoughts um maybe put a timer on <laughs> and kind of like self-discipline yourself to say okay all right fine i'm gonna think about this thing but i'm only going to dwell on it for like say 10 minutes stick a timer on and then when the timer goes off commit to yourself to just surrender leave it alone generally things work out on their own anyway for our higher good um and i feel like that's a real strong message for you some of you might just be watching the same show over and over and you're getting stressed because nothing's good on <laughs> are you you know sometimes you know how like when they put a song out on the radio and it's like overplayed it's kind of like it's kind of like you get to this point where it's like, I have outplayed this thing way too many times. It's not even, you might even get to that point where it's like, it's not even worth dwelling on anymore. You know, like it's just too, like, it's like, oh, I'm just done. It's exhausting. Thinking too much. Like you're going to have a mental breakdown over something you're trying to solve or figure out. Look how it's affecting you physically, Virgo with the ten of wands like laborious might be having an effect on your health your physical health could have something to do with a sagittarius but that's an energy more than a person 
I feel like spirit's saying everything in moderation or you're trying to just temper yourself, moderate, pace yourself through uh, something here. Okay, maybe give that that song a break or that song that you, some of you I, I'm hearing you have um, like a workout playlist that you need to change up, girl, guy. You need to change your playlist. <laughs> seriously because it might not even be uh, like inspiring you or giving you the the oomph you need to continue your workout <laughs> time to maybe like get some new songs okay so you've got justice making something right what should i do here finding balance okay yeah and being very assertive with trying to figure out like trying to find the balance of things here um I kind of feel like Virgo you you are tired of doing this him and hawing thing here seriously I, I do feel like you're trying to sort something out you have some heavy energy going on in your head it's taking a physical toll it's emotional roller coaster look at the up and down waves you know it's up then it's down that's up then it's down maybe even making you a little seasick okay and I feel like you're trying, because you're trying to get at the truth of something, and you're really, like, uh, going after that, like, very determined. But, I don't know, Spirit's saying, take a breather. Things usually reveal themselves anyway. Everything comes out in the wash eventually. It'll be revealed. Something will be, be revealed to you. Um, when you let go. It's always when you let go. It's always when you let go and just stop trying to control a situation or an outcome that things just happen. The more you hold on to it, the, the more you're stopping it from happening is what I'm hearing. You know how like when you're making cake mix batter and they're like give you specific instructions of how many times you have to mix it. Like they'll say like beat it for one to two minutes. <laughs> I mean, even for some of you guys. I mean, like, you need to chill. <laughs> I can't even believe that happened right there. So, um, yeah, there's a reason. Moderation. Moderation. Whatever this is, this could be anything. You apply it to how it fits for you in your life. But <laughs> I was thinking, man, this, this, uh, this first part of this reading is probably going to be really boring and but I don't now I'm thinking because I was like oh maybe I'll leave it for last but no I don't think so <laughs> I'm cracking myself up I'm a 10 year old what can I say um don't just beat it stop beating it you need to like get your hands because you're gonna ruin it <laughs> that's it I'm done I'm done with tower readings I'm not giving them any more here on YouTube that's it it's getting out of control getting out of hand come on now <laughs> uh, some of you <laughs> just like playing with your you know what's all right stop 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 thank god this isn't made for kids right um okay let's let's get let's be mature can we be mature please all of you in the chat making me be this way it, in my <laughs> everything in moderation okay virgo you need to just Get your hands off that thing and 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 just let it just let it be like the Beatles. Let it be. Isn't that so funny? The beat the Beatles. <laughs> you're like a Beatles. <laughs> you're like you're like you're beating something to death here. All right, let me see. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. All right, let's get on with this reading. Come on. Okay. There you are. As always. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, clarity is going to come. It's not going to come while you keep fighting. You keep fighting something. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to say the same thing again. But what the message is, is put your dukes down, Virgo. This, I don't know specifically. They're really not telling me, and that's okay. I think you know what I'm talking about. Whether it's your playlist or whatever you're playing. Maybe you're playing too much. I don't know what you're doing, but I can't be, I can't articulate it 
specifically i just feel like you're the this this record is wearing out is what i'm hearing it's wearing out and it's not satisfying you keep replaying this thing and it's not working for you it's 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 taking a toll a physical toll on you. but you know let it go the clarity will come okay some of you i'm looking at this crown on this <clears throat> it's a ring to me and not that kind of ring um i'm not telling you to try different things but if you know what i mean but um some of you this has something to do with an engagement ring or marriage possibly or the hope that someone's gonna put a ring on it so to speak i, I can't my brain is in the gutter right now <laughs> where did this come from i swear do you know what i've done most of my day i've been watching the news i'm like legit watching like politics in the news my brain wasn't even in this place but somebody here must be because i'm picking up somebody's energy okay i hear one of you maybe one of the guys if you like it then you should have put a ring on it <laughs> it's isn't that that beyonce song maybe one of the guys is saying that or one of the ladies here masculines feminines okay um stabilize virgo you need to stabilize you need to yeah you need to like get your i was gonna say i mean if you're in a warm area you need to ground yourself you need to take your shoes off and go stand in the grass and get that energy from you know earth planet earth has all this electrical energy you need to like energize yourself and get stable maybe a little shock to the system to you know i'm just who am i hearing now i'm hearing the words it must be share it's from a movie snap out of it oh that's from um oh what the heck it's a really old movie from the 90s something with the moon share she was in a movie where with um, Nicolas Cage. Do you remember that movie? Does anybody remember that movie or is it just me? She was married to this guy. Oh, she was engaged to this guy and he had to leave to go take care of his mother. And in the meantime, she met this guy's brother, Johnny. And then they fell in love. And then there was like this third party scenario happening in the movie. And then she didn't want to be with the guy, the, the original. She wanted to be with Johnny. And Johnny only had like one hand or something. It was really crazy. I don't know where this is coming from. I can't remember the name of the movie. But it's it's from like the late 80s, early 90s with Cher. I, if you haven't seen it, it's a really, it's it's a good movie. I mean, 80s movies I think were great, weren't they? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see Cher Mo uh, Moon something moonstruck that's what it's called moonstruck if you haven't seen it or if it's been a while go watch that movie there's a message in there for someone here i think she won like an ox oscar or something for that movie okay there you are you need to get grounded somebody lives in miami i just heard yeah so you need to get yourself stable and grounded and some of you need to get back to work you're just playing too much um you need to get serious about something like whatever you have you have going on in your life with your career your workout routine you're you're doing a little bit too much um you know ace of wands masculine or feminine whatever it is like you need to like get focused man you need to focus Focus on your business. Focus on like something like building, you know? Okay. Um, now you might have a connection with a Taurus, another Virgo, or a uh, Capricorn here. And this could be in involving them, this scenario. Could also be somewhere in your birth chart, those signs, besides Virgo being your son. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're you need to make some decisions and work some of you might be like looking down at like your 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 computer your laptop your phone your ipad whatever you have some of you are kind of just 
looking at it and just like, you know what, I've been neglecting some things or something and I need to seriously stop overthinking it and make a move. Like, that's what I feel like you need to do. Um, stop trying to play chess in your head because you that, that's all made up. You don't know what your opponent's going to do. You need to actually make a move because th then you won't be stuck is what I'm hearing. It's not that you're undecided. It's just that you're trying to figure out the best the best decision you know it's not like you're like oh i don't know what to do it's like you have too many options is how i feel and it's cluttering you like you're cluttered and it's stressing you out and you're trying to relieve yourself from some kind of stress in this time period so just make one small move and that should like kind of unlock this locked wheel that i feel like you have you have like this locked wheel sometimes that small move that you make is non-movement you know what i mean like sometimes you may feel like you need to do something and you don't know what to do you don't know which you know like when you're at a five point cross in the road like you, you're like do i go to the left do i go straight do i go to the far left the the, the far right do i just go a little sometimes the answer in surrendering and just standing still okay and not they say not choosing but even not choosing is a choice and that might need to be your choice right now yeah i feel like that's a lot and you're 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 burdening self and you're trying to release release your stress Maybe through physical, some type of physical, because it's affecting you that way. Because you see how we have the cross here? This feels like you're at some kind of a crossroad. Or you feel like, should I compromise? Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm not going to do anything. You know? Get into this, be apathetic right now about it. Be indifferent about it. Like, Because look at all these options. You may need to just be indifferent. And the answer, I feel like, will come to you. So, yeah, something needs to change. And you have a lot of options, but you're not sure. It's not time to make a full-on decision yet. That's what I feel like is going on here. Except to just stop fretting over a decision you need to make. This is what I feel like the choice is. I really hope that I'm making sense. <laughs> this is what the choice is. To stop. Let it, It'll reveal itself to you. It, the answer will come. That's what I'm hearing. Just surrender. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to go any more with that. Because I feel like, you know, especially with the cassette. Like, even if it's as simple as, like, you can't choose a radio station. Or, you know, whatever you have on your... Whatever you listen to, you, you know, you, oh, I've listened to this a thousand times. And isn't there any other good music? Like, it'll just come. That's what I feel like the message is. You'll figure it out. All right. I'm going to move on to the next. All right, Virgo. So now you have love. Unconditional love. <laughs> self-love. I hate that word. I hate that phrase, self-love. Self-acceptance. I like that better. That has to come first. Then you can love yourself. Oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So, you should be, un you absolutely should unconditionally love yourself and forgive yourself and, and accept your mistakes. And, and if you feel like a fool, you should just laugh it off. You should just really say to yourself, you know what? Whatever. I don't really care. I'm good. I love myself. I accept me for who I am. If other people don't, that's their problem. Okay, so let's take a look. But there's also passion, effect, affection, and attraction. A whole world of it. Let me see. Okay, Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like there's, I feel like there's an energy of um, giving making a huge change and giving back okay let's see what does this mean leaving something in the past okay knight of wands 
Temperance is here again. This is going to be the theme for you. There's um, spirits working in your life. You're going to be... Whew, you're you're going to be in some type of a committed relationship. But this is also kind of following the rules. Rules and regulations is what I feel. Um, of uh, You're committing to something. Or someone's committing to you. And again, we have a major arcana. It could be Taurus. It could be Sagittarius. Um, there's also Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. So there is this... Uh, I just heard, and I don't know whose voice this is. It might be yours. It could be somebody else's. But I, I hear somebody saying, I think I've just met an angel. I think I've just met an angel. Okay. The, th the funny thing about this is there's no cup energy except for the two cups that the angel on temperance is holding. And I feel like there's a, there's like an angel or guardian angel working behind the scenes to bring that two of cups energy into your life during this time period, for sure. If, if, let's see. But there, like Knight of Wands, I mean, there's passion. Whew. And these are double Sag cards here, so there could be a Sag. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm also hearing you walking away from something and slowly giving time, taking your time, and slowly giving your time to one or two other people. But one of them is like hot to trot for you. One of them is hot, and this is something that can turn into a committed union. Okay. Maybe you walk, what did you walk away from here? You might be just kind of in this place where you're learning to love yourself again. Hmm. You're walking away from chasing. That's what you're doing. Or being assertive. And being assertive in what? Oh, with the King of Swords, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but it's someone who... Um, they're kind of cold inside. They do wear a cloak with purple. There is a bit of loyalty and passion connected to this King of Swords, but with the with their their undergarment being so like a cool blue, this person has a very logical, airy mind. I don't know, Virgo. I kind of feel like you might have been trying to assert yourself on a relationship. In the past and it looks like you're starting a brand new new beginning in your life here it's just beginning to occur you know in this time period um, king of swords masculine or feminine energy I feel like some of you are getting back out there maybe dating or talking to others um, but you're you're being generous with your time but you um, are not giving all of your time to one person it looks like it looks like there might be some people who want to um, be in your energy and not I mean yeah maybe beg for or they're they're pleading for the opportunity to talk to you okay um, and with the scales there I feel like you're just kind of balancing you're not giving too much you're dropping breadcrumbs <laughs> maybe you're leaving a trail um, to your oven <laughs> so someone's gonna respond that's how I feel okay now I just saw the king of cups and the star okay so let's see maybe the king of cups could be one of these people that you have a conversation with this person falls in love with you going forward they think you're a star you're either a, a superstar or a ghetto star 
Ghetto Superstar. Um, yeah, the King of Cups is going to make a love offer to you. And they're hoping you're going to accept. But understand, a love offer is, you know, from the Knight of Cups is very sweet. Um, but it's not sustainable. Do you know what I mean? It's a positive energy. Maybe even a wish come true. Joy, joyfulness and happiness. And the opportunity to go so oh that's so weird right when i looked at this card i just saw john travolta i saw danny and sandy in that 57 chevy at the end of greece going up into the air and sandy's in the waving goodbye <laughs> what the hell? i don't know what's wrong with my brain today it's weird stuff i get all i'm getting hyper um imagery i feel like there's a king of cups here that like kind of wants to just wave goodbye to everybody and you two go off into the sunset together is what i'm hearing would be a wish come true for them if you chose them that's a reconciliation kind of thing for some of you reconnecting with this person i feel like they, i don't know i saw two people there but i do see like i was saying it is it is two people because there are two knights but the thing is i don't feel like either one of them at this time maybe later is really sustainable you know what i mean it could especially with the temperance card here i feel like um there's a lot of confusion here because nothing is set in stone as far as your love life goes and if there's two people you might be giving more of your time to one than the other now i know that's not going to resonate for all of you there are some that are going to be like yes okay um now for some of you it could be that you've got two people one who is still trying to have time with you but you've walked away from them the king of swords and now you're giving some time to the king um, of cups very well could be that energy but i do feel like there's something brewing behind the scenes that you can't see in regards to that king of cups and that's happening going forward let me see Oh, okay. Yeah, look at the ghost. Like what I just said, like you can't see it. It's this is all kind of that energy of like what the hell's going on? Am I dreaming? Something odd. I feel like there's a lot of doubt in your love life, okay? Um You've got the wheel of fortune here. It's like you f maybe you, Virgo, do you feel lucky and you don't know why? Are you getting that feeling like i feel like something's brewing and i feel lucky like something good is gonna come something good's on the way but i can't see it yet that's what i feel like's happening here it's almost like i just they keep giving me like that hansel and gretel with the breadcrumbs like you're following some kind of breadcrumb trail not actual you know like the phrase somebody's breadcrumbing me i feel like you're kind of maybe you're dropping the breadcrumbs i don't know what you're doing virgo maybe you're breadcrumbing someone or some people a couple people you're i don't know I, I mean i don't i don't mean that i don't know i just i just kind of feel like there this whole thing is leading to something and you like it's in your favor but there's too much um confusion and can you tell because even i am feeling confused let me see okay so there's some really sweet communication coming to you maybe even an apology okay someone's been thinking about apologizing to you for something but it look, look at you you got the full Aquarius energy. I don't know, Virgo, you, uh, did you free yourself from something and you might not even care? 
for some of you I feel like that's the energy you freed yourself and you're just kind of like it's whatever it's I'm going off this cliff later uh, I don't see okay wow there may be a king of wands showing up giving you some kind of like inspiration to leave or to start something new I feel like you know what we've got do we no right here we've got all three kings so there's king of swords in the past there's a king of cups in the present and there's a king of wands that's kind of coming in new here all while you're in the midst of loving yourself and <laughs> in the last reading really loving yourself so yeah there's some oh man look options three options which one of the which you know someone keeps trying them though someone's someone's i feel like the king uh king of wands is going to keep trying try after try after try to give their cup of love to you and you're undecided um not undecided in the sense of like i don't know what to do but like maybe i don't know what to choose or i don't know how to tell someone no it could be that too I don't want to hurt somebody. I'm just going to kind of ignore it or act like I'm not interested. Just so that you're not like the bad girl or the bad guy. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense because I swear I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay. I just want to get some messages of love here because this was so much. I just feel like a lot of confusion. And it's always more so whenever we have... Um, more court cards so you've got interference external party intruding on a relationship uh, there could be a third party or you just have like three choices because you got three different kings here kings or queens three different options some of you are just like let them come to me i'm too busy over here loving myself <laughs> let them come to me or let them you know, if, if I see any signs that someone's showing interest, then okay, I'll see. I kind of feel like that's your energy. You've got finances, financial challenges are affecting a particular connection. So there might be somebody in this reading who is just like, can't make a move because if they're broke, I'm hearing. Could be you, could be another person. There's also forgiveness. So remember I was saying there's an apology so somebody might be coming in and asking for your forgiveness and there might be strong chemistry with that person like a strong attraction it's interesting Virgo because I don't even know if you're seeking an apology for from someone or not even sure that you need to have an apology from someone I just they just said get one of the cosmic insight messages okay there's something in here for you all right, manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay, so that might have something to do with this confusion because you're not sure. You're not either sure what you want or either sure about what you don't want. And so universe is like, all right, well, you have some kind of like love arrhythmia. So we're just going to, you know, you're an AFib with your heart. So we're just going to keep throwing love balls at you. And whenever one sticks, hopefully you'll pick. I kind of feel like you're... <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing whack-a-mole you know what i mean like okay this person pops up bam this person pops up bam i'm not sure i'm not sure if i should go back to someone if i should keep entertaining someone right now or if i if i should let someone new come in but all the while it has a lot to do with you telling the universe exactly what you want and getting clear with yourself at least you're loving yourself you know at least you're like in the position of doing that and giving yourself the unconditional love that because of anything the first person you need to be loving is yourself okay and i feel like that's a really strong message let's move over to x see what's going on with the x or the x all right virgo you have x or x break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment you're giving someone the axe or someone gave you the axe let's take a look and see there's a breakup or you're connected to a breakup situation stopping some kind of pattern stopping you might be deciding 
um, to give someone the silent treatment or you might be deciding to interrupt the silent treatment. Okay, let's take a look and see. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, Ten of Swords, Betrayal, Surrender. Wow, Queen of Swords. Okay, so you're done with the bullshit. You're done with the bullshit. That's what it is. You're done with some kind of bullshit. You might feel there was a betrayal and you're giving somebody the axe. Someone that maybe there was a possessive energy with okay and it looks like you're saying no to the dress so to speak or no to the suit okay you might find something out uh, through a friend or another person about um, some kind of betrayal or a backstabbing you could be ending a friendship with someone or a love that got off the ground recently and you're deciding yeah you know what i'm blocking this person i'm not getting involved i don't want anything to do with it so there's definitely that and it could be reversed somebody could be doing that with you so you know i don't really know that it's predictive all that much it might be happening right now or maybe it did happen already or you could find out that somebody cheated on somebody else and you know you're kind of telling a friend telling the person that you find out about their lover yeah there's big change though what comes after this wheel of fortune Ooh, page of cups i'm hearing i'm sorry i'm hearing um my apologies i'm hearing can we talk i'm hearing i love you very sweet communication i'm hearing thank you for telling me that um thank you for letting me know um I'm hearing someone apologizing to you if they were messing around. If you find out, I don't feel like someone is like, coming up and admitting it. I find out. It feels like you find out. You're like, I find out and you're admitting it because I found out. Not because you were going to tell me. Which is a totally different dragon. Totally different. If you felt bad about it and came and told me um, when I suspected, then I... I would have felt like the trust wouldn't have been breached, but you didn't. I had to find out and call you out on it, and then you admitted it, right? So I kind of feel like for some of you, that might be a scenario, and it doesn't look like you are, if this is happening to you, you're not happy about it. I also feel like some of you might find out something about a friend who's having, um, who's being cheated on and you don't waste any time and you go and you tell your friend right away because why you care about them. You tell them in a very gentle way. Um, you, you come with some proof is what I feel. <clears throat> Yep, you find some messages or some writing back and forth. Oh, okay, either way, um, it's a big risk for you to confront this energy, whether it's happening to you or somebody else. It's a big risk. You're going out on a limb here, Virgo. You're putting yourself at risk to say something or to tell somebody what you found out, whether it's them doing it or a, or somebody else external to you but whatever it is it's a big risk i feel like you're doing the right thing here could involve that damn king of cups keeps showing up with the queen of cups could involve the air could involve the water hmm Maybe they made a romantic proposal to somebody else um, and you tell your friend or you find out this is your partner doing this and you find out they were betraying, they either made a romantic proposal to a water sign or they're making it to an air sign. Whatever the case, you're like, F out of here. This is BS. Yep. Look at you with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's a big risk, but you're going for it. You're like, no, this is BS. 
I don't mean to laugh. I don't think it's funny. I'm just like, I'm astonished. I, I just, like, I can't even believe that this is the way this story is going out. So, you know, if you're kind of sitting on the fence, which I, I don't, you might sit on the fence a little bit about it because that's going to draw attention to you, but I feel like, I don't know, there's some righteousness involved here with this that you got to, like, protect a friend or protect your own heart. There's some righteousness involved, and you have to, like, stand up for yourself and take your power back you know that knight of swords is always like a f whoa that's uh, like a fearless energy it's fierce nothing's gonna stop me but it's you know with the communication and the thoughts and the words you know so as far as like saying something i feel like you're gonna you're gonna say something and what's the outcome gonna be wow the magician Peace, the hanged man. And the two of... Mm. No, this is good. So, this is kind of how I feel this energy is here. Either way, it's good. You either have like this peace of mind on one day, and then you have this new opportunity starting over on the other day. So, it's not like... I mean, if you're going to juggle two things, you know... It's not always what, you know, it's not always juggling the bad and the good. It's just like what comes around goes around. And what comes back around to you with the infinity symbol is like double goodness. You know, they always say like the good you do comes back to you threefold. Yeah. So I kind of feel like if you're making a decision here, it could have a connection to a Pisces or a Gemini. If you've got something going on here that's either happening to you or another person, I do feel like um, you have a strong passion to be judgmental against somebody who's doing another person wrong. And you have a strong passion, fiery, heated energy. Go for it. Because I'll show you what's up. The truth will come out. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. And I don't know. Maybe I make sense to you. My brain's real mush right now. Because there was just so many messages in regards to this. And then only eight and a half minutes into this. Oh boy. You're going to say what you say. And then you're going to walk away. I'm put it out there. And then I'm walking away from it. And you deal with it. Not my problem. Leave me alone. <laughs> could be attached to a family. This could be like part someone who's part of your family as well. A sister or a brother. Or maybe if you're married to someone, you know, you're ending something here. <laughs> something is ending. Whether you're ending it or they're in, or, or someone else is ending ending it. There, this is like either you're giving your ex the axe or you're just giving handing the axe over to somebody else to give their person the axe, whichever it is, because there's some truth that's coming out. And it's going to come through you. You're the messenger. Because why? You, you kind of have this little secret where I feel like, you you know you know what I mean you're like oh I know about all this I know about this intuitive wisdom is what you have here yeah so it's like you I feel like it comes to you first and but I don't see you just kind of going up to someone and saying oh I think I intuit that this is happening I feel like you're not going to approach another person until you have the facts or the evidence because then it's just hearsay. Yeah. And I don't think Virgos generally like to deal with the BS. I think Virgos are like, you know, I'm going to keep my mouth shut until I have all the proof that I need to present. Like a like a, like um, prosecution. <laughs> if you're going to prosecute someone, you know, and you're going to call them out on something, you better have the proof to back it up because... They don't need to prove anything. You're the one calling them out. And you have to have the evidence. You can't, because if you, it's like, you know, if you're a lawyer, <laughs> prosecute, you can't just show up there and be like, well, this is what we think. The judge could be like, okay, let me see all the evidence of the case. Well, we don't have anything. It's just our intuition. I mean, they'd be kicked out of court. Totally. Like, <laughs> mistrial, get out of here. No way. It's not going to happen. So I kind of feel like you, may, you might intuit something, but you, you're going to, you're going to be very 
careful and courteous and discerning with the information that comes, you know? And I always think that's the best practice. Don't make accusations of people just because of the way you feel or because of something you think. Keep it to yourself. And until you can back it up, don't say anything, you know? That, that could be defamation. There could be a lot of stuff going on there, and you don't want to get yourself involved in that. All right, messages of love. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Yeah. You'll see. A little bit of time apart, and, and then I'll, that's when all the answers come. Hold on, Judge. I got the evidence. Just give me about 15 minutes. All right, let me see soulmate oh yeah okay so for some of you this isn't um you accusing someone you love like a romantic partner of cheating here with this soulmate this soulmate is a friend or a sister or a brother um or someone very close a cousin or someone very close to you who's like a soulmate to you that you care about and this person is going to really respect you for bringing the proof to them without because if you just go to this person and you're like hey listen i'm getting this strong vibe that so and so is messing around or doing something they're just gonna i mean they may listen to you but like don't plant seeds that are dry rotted you know what i mean that are dead you know if you're gonna plant a seed make sure you can back it up with some water and sunshine so you can prove this right and and doing that doing it that way i feel like this person's going to be like you know what thank you because they're not going to be able to say oh well, you're jealous or oh you're always interfering in my life um or you want my my person you want my person like no take it uh, out of like your responsibility take it out of your hands the evidence will speak for itself the truth doesn't need support lie Need, lies need crutches but the truth does not need support all right one more oh, they gave me two balance one person giving too much in the relationship okay that could be the person that you're talking to it's like yeah i don't feel a strong energy of you accusing a lover of cheating so if i was going down that route in the beginning i'm kind of backtracking on that now sorry uh, it feels it's not to say it's, it wouldn't happen okay but it feels like they're leaning more towards a friend that you really care about okay maybe you tell them you know here's the proof here's the evidence they're giving too much time and energy to somebody else here's all the text messages or maybe they were doing it with you here's all the information i have could you have a little bit of time so we can talk let's get together so i can show you this stuff you know um you, sh you should put your boundaries up with this person this feels more like mm, release yeah it, it kind of feels more like you're looking out for a friend or a soulmate someone close to you helping them like you should release this person they might be really stuck and i feel like they might appreciate your support You're in their life to teach them a spiritual lesson, Virgo. You're more than just buds. That's what I feel like the message is here. All right. I just want to get some initials and all that good stuff. Letter J, the letter I, the G. The jig is up, man. The jig is up. <laughs> someone's 43. Someone's 49. Someone's 31. Someone's born in 71. Or is 71. Okay, we got Pisces showing up here. September 4th, September 20th, August 29th, the letter A. Someone's 53. We have the letter V. I just heard Vigliatano. Viglia? Vig? Vigliatano? Never even heard that name before in my life. We have a Scorpio and a Leo showing up here. All right, someone's 62, someone's 33. This reading is going to be short tonight, you guys, because I just have the worst headache. We have the letter E. 
Um, and someone is 56. Okay. September birthday. September 5th again. And we have a G again. Um, August 24th. Letter A again. Someone is a military lawyer. Someone's birthday is June 4th. Okay, they said give you a uh, phone number 7133 5653 2920 4495 and 4331. And let me get a charm. What in God's name is that? Oh, it's a rose. Oh, can't pick it up. Hey, you guys, if you want to get these like really super cool Valentine's mystical nails, um, just so you know, you won't be able to pick anything up with them. Ha, but they're, they look fun. There'll be a link below in the description box if you want to purchase them. Um, okay. So you've got, I'm going to show you. You have a rose here. Can you see it? Yes. Um, <clears throat> it could be somebody's name, but I'm also feeling like someone thinks you are very, very special. And it may be this person because you're looking out for them. Okay. Yeah, I don't really feel like someone is... I don't feel like you're axing someone specifically that if you're in a relationship, I don't feel like you're axing someone. Um, I f it feels mostly like someone that you're connected to that you find something out. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know if this is resonating for you, if this is something that you're already going through and it just hasn't come to fruition fully yet. Um, we're going through February, so Valentine's Day will be coming up. Um, some of you might want to get on, get on it soon. I they just said get on this really quickly, but in the right time. Okay, you've also got a dice. Wow. So it's a risk. It's a gamble. You're taking a gamble here, Virgo. You're calling someone out. Virgos don't usually like to get in the middle of people's drama because <laughs> yesterday apparently Virgos got all kinds of drama. But it looks like there's a risk. You're rolling the dice here. You're you're, you're taking a gamble by saying something to someone close to you, like a soulmate, like a friend, or someone close to you. But I, I feel like it's going to be okay, as long as you're going in with the facts. If you don't have any facts, and you just have a hunch, the hunch isn't going to work. Because that's a serious thing. Yeah, so... Um, Maybe you might be in this position where you're gathering information or you're going on your hunches and you're seeing something, but you're like, okay, I can't count on that 100%. I need to convince this person that what is happening is what I'm actually hunching out about and i got to show them. But, you know, it might not be time. But I feel like you're going to do a great service to someone who might be suffering already or to, or to prevent someone that you love from suffering from something very negative, okay? Um, and... At the end of the day, I actually hope after this reading that absolutely none of this is happening for you and that your week is basically just you going to work, <laughs> spending time with your cat or your dog and getting a really good meal out of the week <laughs> or having a happy love connection with someone. This obviously is not going to resonate for every single one of you. And if it doesn't resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not somebody else's story, right? Because it's not all about you guys every single time. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave that there because I just feel like a very heavy energy and I don't want to continue on uh, or dive any deeper with this. I don't really care for this energy too much, so I'm just going to leave it be. I mean, I know you're trying to do something good here, what I see, but it's also kind of, you know, ugh. It's tough to deal with. This whole week, I'm telling you, there was like so much drama this week. And it's only Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Well, maybe you're listening to this the next day. It's Tuesday. But like, can we get through the week? Seriously? All right. I'm going to leave this here for you guys. Don't forget. Personal reading link. Description box below. And don't 
forget to join become a member it's $2.99 a month if you can't afford that that's fine I understand um, if you become a member I do believe that you could now in the chat if you press on the um, gift money uh, little icon in the chat you can if you're a member first I believe you can gift a membership to another person here in the chat I don't know they said I was eligible for that but I can't see it on my end because I'm not it's my channel so let me know if that even shows up in the box there you can let me know now um, before we close or you can let me know tomorrow but yeah if you want to gift a membership $2.99 and they get it for a month free so that's always nice to give to someone someone close to you that can't afford it but yeah i'll leave that there i will see you all back here tomorrow have a great night bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye